in the game did you feel like, all right, uh, I'm feeling good and I'm ready to rock? I felt good from the warm-ups on. Uh, we did a good job as far as rehab and getting, getting myself ready to go. And uh, I felt like I was, I was myself out there. And we were able to go out there and, and score points and find a way to win against a really good football team. Go next to Sam McDowell. Go ahead, Sam. Hey, Patrick. Um, this game would obviously be a huge game regardless, but what's sort of just the magnitude of playing in Tom Brady against a game in a game like this? Yeah, I mean the Super Bowl is the Super Bowl. Uh, being able to go up against one of the one of the greatest, if not the greatest, quarterback of all time in his 150th Super Bowl. I mean, it's going to be a great experience for me. I mean, to, to go out there and get to get, have a chance to repeat and get to do it against the best. I mean, it's uh, it's something special, and I'm excited for the opportunity. Let's go next to Matt Derrick. Go ahead, Matt. Hey, Patrick, what exactly is going to be your game plan going forward? I mean, how much are you going to allow yourself to enjoy this versus, you know, when you're going to start looking at film and really getting into the Super Bowl? I mean, I'll start looking at film tomorrow. I mean, uh, uh, we're in COVID, we're in COVID protocol, so I can't really do much, but, but uh, celebrate with Brittany and my brother. Um, but I'll, I'll be excited to do that tonight. But uh, I mean, our goal from the beginning of the season was to win the Super Bowl, not to get to it. So I'll be uh, on the film tomorrow. Let's go next to Nate Taylor. Go ahead, Nate. Congratulations, Patrick. Just wanted to ask you, what worked so well for both Tyreek and Travis uh, when you were allowed to throw the ball um, without having to move as much? Yeah, I mean, those guys just know how to get themselves open. I mean, they're obviously super talented, but they they understand our offense to a, a crazy degree. And so I uh, thought EB did, and uh, Coach Reed did a great job of, of designing plays for them to get them open, and they were able to get open uh, in zone or man coverage, and I uh, just got them the ball. Let's go next to Vahe Gregorian. Hey, Patrick, congratulations. Brad, I'll have a, one follow-up, too. Patrick, I wonder if uh, you might be able to tell us, it looked like you went over to McColl uh, pretty quickly after the after the punt to try to tell him something along the lines of we need you or something to that effect. What, what, what did you try to establish there? Yeah, I mean, I just told him to keep his head up. I mean, we've, we had been, we've been in that situation before. Uh, so uh, I told him he's going to make a play in this game that's going to change the game, and he made multiple of them. So uh, we believe in each other. Uh, we, we think that we, we're going to do whatever it takes to win, and those guys did that. Let's go next to Pete Sweeney. Go ahead, Pete. Hey, Patrick, congratulations. It, it sounded like at the AFC title podium, one of the things you said was jobs not finished. I was wondering if that was an intentional tribute to Kobe Bryant, what went behind it and why that mentality means something to you. Yeah, I mean, Kobe has the uh, one of the best mentalities of all time as far as a competitor going out there and, and, winning, and winning championships, not just winning games. And um, I, I take a lot from that, uh, going out there every single day and not being satisfied with where you're at. And uh, like I said, the job's not finished. When we went into the season, we weren't talking about going to the Super Bowl. We were talking about winning it again, and uh, we're trying to run it back. And we mean that, and I'm, I'm excited for the opportunity to go out there and play against a great football team and try to do that. We'll take two more. We'll go Arnie and then Steve. Go ahead, Arnie. Hey, Patrick. Uh, Andy talked about how in the um, AFC championship a couple of years ago that after the overtime loss, uh, Tom Brady came and talked to you and – he said it was a special moment for you. Can you just tell me what it meant for you in your career as a young guy, what it meant when Tom came and talked to you afterwards? Yeah, I just, it just kind of reemphasized that I was doing things the right way, um, that uh, I was putting in the right work and that uh, I would have more opportunities to be in these games. And uh, I've been lucky enough to be in uh, two more of them since and, and win both of those. And so uh, get to go up, against, go up against a great and a great football team as well. And so I'm excited for the opportunity. We'll go last to Steve Walls. Good, Steve. Hey, congrats, Patrick. Uh, I want to ask you about the offensive line. It seems like they, they made a point today to put in some work and play, and play pretty solid. Can you talk about the job that they did? Yeah, I mean, those guys have just been battling. They've been battling. They've accepted the challenge. When they play the way they've played these last two games, we're a hard team to beat. Um, and so uh, we put that on them. I mean, we, we, tell, we tell them that. We reemphasize that as we go as they go. Um, and as, a, as they play with that attitude and that mentality to finish and, and to uh, do their job, uh, you see our offense does uh, special things.